Hey there, fellow seekers of knowledge. Today we embark on a captivating exploration into the enigmatic realm of the Cursed Ones and the profound consequences they face when they dare to challenge the Chosen Ones. It's a topic shrouded in mystery and intrigue, delving into the intricacies of cosmic justice and spiritual retribution. As we delve into this fascinating subject, we'll be drawing from the timeless wisdom of Dolores Cannon, whose pioneering work in past life regression and metaphysical exploration has illuminated the darkest corners of the human experience. So, fasten your seatbelts and prepare to journey with us into the depths of the unknown, where ancient truths and timeless mysteries await our discovery. Welcome aboard this voyage of discovery and enlightenment. The Cosmic Balance Delving into the profound teachings of Dolores Cannon, we encounter the foundational concept of the Cosmic Balance. Picture the universe as a finely tuned instrument, resonating with the harmonious interplay of energies. Every action, every thought, contributes to this intricate symphony, maintaining equilibrium in the cosmic dance of existence. According to Canon, this balance is not merely a passive state, but a dynamic force that governs the fabric of reality itself. When someone attempts to harm a chosen one, they disrupt this delicate equilibrium, sending ripples across the cosmic tapestry. It's akin to disturbing the still waters of a tranquil pond. The effects reverberate far beyond the initial disturbance. But here's where it gets truly fascinating. Despite our best efforts to manipulate the threads of fate, the universe possesses an innate wisdom, a self-correcting mechanism that ensures equilibrium is restored. It's like attempting to tip the scales of destiny. You may exert force in one direction, but the cosmic forces will inevitably counterbalance, realigning the scales with precision. In essence, those who seek to harm the chosen ones inadvertently invite consequences upon themselves. It's not a punishment meted out by some vengeful deity, but a natural consequence of disrupting the cosmic order. Like a boomerang, the energy we project returns to us, magnified and amplified by the universal laws that govern existence. So next time you find yourself tempted to interfere with the path of a chosen one, remember the immutable laws of the universe. Respect the cosmic balance, for in doing so, you honor the interconnectedness of all things and align yourself with the greater harmony of existence. As Dolores Cannon teaches us, the universe has its own way of restoring equilibrium, a reminder that we are but humble participants in the grand symphony of life, the law of karma. Now, let's delve into the timeless principle of the law of karma as elucidated by Dolores Cannon. At its core, karma embodies the belief that every action we take, every thought we harbor, sets in motion a chain of cause and effect that reverberates throughout the cosmos. Cannon underscores that this law holds particularly true when it comes to meddling with the Chosen Ones. Imagine karma as a cosmic ledger, meticulously recording every deed and intention. Those who seek to disrupt the sacred journey of these special individuals inevitably accrue a debt to the universe, a karmic obligation that must be balanced. It's a sobering realization the realization that our actions carry weight, that the energy we emit shapes the course of our destiny. Like strands in a vast web, our choices intersect with the lives of others, weaving a tapestry of interconnected experiences. And when we attempt to thwart the path of the chosen ones, we entangle ourselves in a web of our own making. The repercussions of our actions echo through the corridors of time, shaping our reality in ways we may not fully comprehend. But here's the beauty of karma. It's not merely a system of punishment and reward, but a profound mechanism of growth and transformation. By confronting the consequences of our actions, we have the opportunity to learn, to evolve, to transcend the limitations of our past. So let us heed the teachings of Dolores Cannon and tread carefully upon the path of karma. Let us sow seeds of kindness, compassion, and goodwill, knowing that every thought, every action, has the power to shape our destiny. For in the grand tapestry of existence, we are but threads, 
intricately woven together by the threads of karma, bound by the eternal law of cause and effect. Divine Protection Enter the realm of divine protection, a concept illuminated by the profound insights of Dolores Cannon. Here, amidst the cosmic dance of energies, the Chosen Ones are not left to navigate the turbulent waters of fate alone. Instead, they are enshrouded in a cloak of spiritual armor, a shield forged from the very fabric of the universe itself. Cannon paints a vivid picture of this divine protection, likening it to a fortress of light that surrounds and shields the Chosen Ones from the machinations of malevolent forces. It's a testament to the higher powers at play, the unseen hands that guide and protect those who walk the path of destiny. In a world fraught with darkness and uncertainty, this shield serves as a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, the light of divine grace shines bright. It's a reassurance that the Chosen Ones are not abandoned or forsaken, but cradled in the loving embrace of cosmic guardians. But divine protection is more than just a passive barrier. It's a dynamic force that actively repels negativity and safeguards the sanctity of the Chosen One's mission. It's a divine intervention, a gentle nudge from the universe itself, ensuring that the threads of destiny remain unbroken and untarnished. So, let us take solace in the knowledge that divine protection is not a distant dream, but a tangible reality, a guiding light that illuminates our path through the darkest of nights. And as we journey onward, may we draw strength from this sacred shield, knowing that we are never alone in our quest to fulfill our destinies. Lessons in Resilience In the journey of life, challenges are inevitable, but how one responds to them defines their character and trajectory. Dolores Cannon's insights shed light on the transformative power of adversity, emphasizing that the Chosen Ones, those who are called to fulfill significant purposes, often undergo profound trials. However, far from breaking them, these challenges become the crucibles of resilience and spiritual evolution. Resilience, in its essence, is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, to find strength amidst adversity. The Chosen Ones, through their trials, learn to tap into reservoirs of inner fortitude they may not have known existed. Each obstacle becomes a lesson, each setback a stepping stone. They cultivate a mindset that views challenges not as insurmountable barriers, but as opportunities for growth. Moreover, these experiences of adversity catalyze profound spiritual growth. They force the chosen ones to confront their deepest fears, to question their beliefs, and to redefine their sense of purpose. In the crucible of suffering, they forge a deeper connection with themselves and with the divine forces guiding their path. But perhaps most importantly, these trials strengthen their resolve. Every obstacle overcome, every hardship endured, reaffirms their commitment to their sacred missions. They emerge from the crucible of adversity with a renewed sense of purpose, with unwavering determination to fulfill their destinies. In essence, the journey of the Chosen Ones is not one devoid of hardship, but rather one enriched by it. Through resilience and spiritual growth, they transform adversity into fuel for their journey, emerging stronger, wiser, and more determined to fulfill their divine callings. The Ripple Effect The consequences of targeting the Chosen Ones reverberate far beyond the immediate individuals involved. According to Dolores Cannon, such actions set off a ripple effect that extends its influence into the lives of all those connected and even into the collective consciousness itself. This concept serves as a poignant reminder that our decisions and actions carry weight beyond our immediate understanding, shaping the very fabric of reality in profound ways. At its core, the ripple effect underscores the interconnectedness of all beings and events. When the chosen ones are targeted, the impact extends not only to them, but also to their families, communities, and beyond. The pain and turmoil caused by such actions ripple outward, affecting the emotional, psychological, and even physical well-being of those connected to them. Furthermore, these ripples do not dissipate, but continue to reverberate through the collective consciousness. The energies of fear, aggression, or injustice 
unleashed by targeting the chosen ones, leave an imprint on the shared psyche of humanity. They contribute to the overall vibration of the collective, influencing the thoughts, feelings, and actions of individuals on a larger scale. In essence, the ripple effect serves as a sobering reminder of the interconnected nature of existence. It prompts us to consider the far-reaching implications of our choices and actions, urging us to act with mindfulness and compassion. By recognizing the power we hold to shape the collective reality, we can strive to create positive ripples that uplift and inspire, rather than perpetuate harm and discord, redemption and forgiveness. In the narrative of the Chosen Ones and their trials, Dolores Cannon also delves into the profound themes of redemption and forgiveness. Despite the gravity of their actions or the severity of their mistakes, Cannon emphasizes that even those who have seemingly irrevocably strayed from the path have the opportunity for redemption. By acknowledging their missteps, confronting the consequences of their actions, and earnestly seeking forgiveness, individuals can break free from the cycle of negativity and realign themselves with the greater good. Redemption is a journey of self-awareness and transformation. It requires a deep introspection and an unwavering commitment to growth and change. Those who seek redemption must confront the shadows within themselves, facing the uncomfortable truths of their past actions and the harm they have caused. It is a process of humility and accountability where individuals take responsibility for their choices and actively strive to make amends. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is a profound act of grace and compassion. It involves releasing resentment and anger and choosing to extend empathy and understanding towards those who have wronged us. Forgiveness does not condone or excuse harmful behavior. Rather, it acknowledges the humanity and inherent worth of both the forgiver and the forgiven. Through forgiveness, individuals can liberate themselves from the burden of resentment and find healing and peace. Together, redemption and forgiveness offer a message of hope and reconciliation in a world often fraught with conflict and division. They remind us of the inherent capacity for growth and renewal within each individual and the transformative power of compassion and empathy. By embracing these themes, we can cultivate a culture of understanding and forgiveness, fostering healing and unity in our personal lives and in the broader human experience. In exploring the complexities of the Cursed Ones and their interactions with the Chosen Ones, we ventured into the depths of cosmic drama guided by the wisdom of Dolores Cannon. Through her teachings, we've uncovered profound insights into the interconnectedness of all beings and the consequences of our actions. As we navigate the intricate dance of life, let us tread with mindfulness, aware of the energies we set into motion. May we strive to align ourselves with the forces of love and light, fostering harmony and growth in our journey. Until our paths cross again, let's remain curious seekers of truth, ever mindful of the profound lessons unveiled in the cosmic theater of existence. Remember to subscribe to the Balance Journey channel for more insightful content. And don't forget to like and comment to share your thoughts and reflections.